Now, landlocked Ethiopia signed an initial agreement with Somalia's breakaway region of Somaliland, giving Ethiopia access to the sea through the Red Sea port of Berbera. Prominent Somalis have, however, cried foul play over the deal. Mogadishu has not approved the agreement, prompting Somalia's cabinet to convene an emergency meeting today. Many prominent Somalis, including former Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khaire, have condemned the agreement, calling it a violation of Somalia's sovereignty. Now, the pact comes as landlocked Ethiopia relies on neighboring Djibouti for most of its maritime trade. But under the Memorandum of Understanding signed between Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and Somaliland President Musa Bihi Abdi, the pact will clear the way for Ethiopia to set up commercial marine operations, giving it access to a leased military base on the Red Sea. According to Ethiopia's National Security Advisor, Somaliland will receive a share of state-owned Ethiopian airlines in return. This will be the starting point for our cooperation with the brotherly people of Somaliland to grow and develop together in cooperation and to ensure our common security. As we have repeatedly stated previously, we do not wish to use force on anyone. Rather, we will use what we have cooperatively. We are very happy and we thank the Ethiopian Prime Minister as we signed the agreement here. We allow them 20 kilometers of our sea and they will also recognize us as an independent state. They will become the first state to recognize Somaliland after the signing of this MOU. Somaliland, which has not gained widespread international recognition despite declaring autonomy from Somalia in 1991, Somalia claims that Somaliland is a part of its own territory.